2024. FIFA 18. I've got gloves now. I wish you were a shot. I want like a marginalized person from a marginalized community to come at me and go, hey, give me your wallet. And then I'm like, no, sir, I have money in there. And then they're like, no, wallet, bitch, and cell phone. And your clothes, because I'm gay. And then I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, you can't do that. I don't talk to gays. And then I got his gun and shot myself. In case you didn't know the premises of this shit, uh, it's July 2017. So we're going to be simulating until 2024, seeing all the events, champions, Ballon d'Or winners, uh, people that have gone to jail. I finally put my name into PG-13 real and made Dave's dead father. Who's Dave? I'm asking that too. Who, who the fuck is Dave? So the good thing is this will be a lot less time put together according to the FIFA 15 video. There's still gonna be a shit ton of time. We have seven fucking seasons to simulate. Oh, don't worry about the Chelsea shirt. I'm not a Chelsea fan. I just like the fact of that it has like all the golden shit and the golden crest and the best uh, mobile phone brand of all time. Camera, it's distracting. Yeah, you don't have to have your camera on. I mean, I want to, but if, if it distracts you guys, like, I am positive. Now, they're like Taylor Swift. They, they've seen the highs and the lows that Taylor, Taylor Swift got. And then once she came out with an album that was pretty much her singing some generic lyrics, but it talked about, oh, I broke up with this guy because of this. And oh, uh, this guy assaulted me. You should be careful. Don't get assaulted fans. And then they all started to feel like this song saved my life Oh Wow, so me just like FIFA 15 The only deals they show is pretty much the top three deals of the summer or winter transfer window So we don't really have any more maneuver to really see what really happened So you seen you join Bayern for 57 million isn't Germany the country with the like the highest high average well, I swear down Germany has like a high average of like six foot to five eleven Insigne is five four let me get this straight Real Madrid just won two Champions Leagues in a row so now he decides instead of winning three in a row I'm gonna sacrifice my career I'm gonna move to Southampton Raheem Sterling on his peak not the Chelsea Raheem Sterling not the Liverpool Raheem Sterling the Pep Guardiola Man City Sterling to Watford for a fee less than Lucas Vasquez. This, oh. Although for Watford this is amazing because now they've got Richarlison in one wing and Sterling on the other. And then serving chances for for Troy Deeney. I can't really have those. You want me to check for you? No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't it's do my it. Mom. It can be your mom if you don't have one. Girlfriend, oh my god, Kelsey. He probably out there in a nightclub in South Africa, cheating on me. Boyfriend. We're back, unjust or unjust, with a case of the scratch truck and the underage fuck. Hey, all rise. Please be seated. Now rise again. Now get down. Yeah, that's right. This portion of Just or Unjust is brought to you by America's next top hooker on CNT. Hey, Bar's gonna remain active on the terms of buying centre backs. PK sold to Chelsea. To be fair, that was 2018. It was about time to get rid of him. And then they bring in a prime Toby Alderweireld. Oh, Jesus Christ! If Barcelona don't win the Champions League, I'm gonna put my fucking face in an oven. Okay, let me get this straight. City sells Sterling for 35 million, yeah, but Real Madrid pay 52 million for. Thomas Lemar, the same Thomas Lemar that would score less than 10 league goals for Atletico Madrid. This is season one and I'm already fucked in my fucking head. Putting someone as world class doesn't really mean much in these games, do they? Because of the same bracket as world class, they put Michael Keane, Lucas fucking Perez, and Roque Mesa. Daniel Klein to Borussia Mönchengladbach. He, he's not gonna start. There's a reason why Jurgen Klopp got rid of him. Who the fuck remembers Kevin Morales? Pretty much the B-Tech Eden Hazard. And as older as he got, he became the D-Tech Eden Hazard. Then the F-Tech Eden Hazard. And then the B-Tech Thorgan Hazard. And now it's signed for Leicester. Alex Tellers to Betis. Julian Brandt to Barcelona. Listen, Barcelona win the fucking Champions League, yeah? I'm, th I'm threatening to fucking switching clothes to Barcelona kit because they're, they're, they're building something special. Soldier a PK and signed Toby Alderweireld and Julian Brandt. Ah, oh, the times the Hector Bellerin was 
relevant. Went to Juventus and he's still 22. It feels that Bellerin has been about in English football since 2010. Once upon a time, Alexis Sanchez used to be 89 rated and Arsenal just signed Leighton Baines, the same Leighton Baines who retired the following year, the same Leighton Baines that is the definition of the word bang average. Whoa, 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 whoa. Human Son gives up on Tottenham after just two seasons and signs not for Barcelona, not for Manchester United or even Man City. Celta Vigo. Yes, he likes just staying in the table, winning fuck all every season. I mean, to be fair, his chances at a title are better there than at Spurs. So a Gerard Pique inspired Chelsea actually came in for the title, but the webcam blocks everything. I need to get a camera. Chelsea win the league with 91 points. This point in time, back-to-back -back league titles for Antonio Conte. That's mad to think about. Manchester United second, Man City only third, and Arsenal fourth with Liverpool and Tottenham outside the top four. You shouldn't be asking why to that. You should be asking why are Swansea in 10th? Huddersfield, like it should happen, Bournemouth and Brighton, bottom of the league, all relegated to the championship. And Raheem Sterling ditched Man City on the cusp of the Champions League to finish 16th. It always happens, and I'm happy every time. Dortmund win the Bundesliga, Bayern second, as it should be every single year. And then there's you. This about what, the sixth? Juventus tied till they win in a row. Napoli again running close, but not really that close. They still finish 16 points behind. Listen, this needs to be the year that something new happens in Spain. I don't care if I cheat. I don't care if I manipulate results. Something new needs to happen in this fucking league. Because I can't be continuously looking at Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid winning it every single year. Oh. Champions League isn't finished yet. I'm Munich and PSG. Two years before, they actually met on a Champions League final. They they would meet now in the 2018 one. Guess a winner of the Europa League. If you guess correctly, you can slap me in the face. Manchester United. They're there. Okay, I can't They're see. just there. They, they got knocked out by Juventus. Yeah. I Fucking don't... blind man. I'm gonna say Liverpool. Oof. Yeah, Liverpool didn't really participate on anything. They really had an anonymous season, yeah? And Villarreal conquered the Europa League with Arsene Wenger's last season in charge of Arsenal uh, being this. What really happened in the Bayern Munich PSG final was a no-no draw restored. Manuel Neuer and who was in PSG go at the time? Kev Kevin Trapp. Kevin Trapp got a clean sheet against Robert Lewandowski, yeah? It's not hard to believe. It's hard to, for the stomach to even digest. And they beat them on penalties to live their first Champions League. So Neymar's first season at PSG yielded the actual Champions League. The reason why he went to PSG in the first place. So in this reality, he might be considered as the Ballon d'Or winner. I'll be so fucking proud. Uh, but, uh, the tears just falling on, on the fucking ground whilst it falls on my cock and I can use it to fucking wank with. I thought it was six Women! The Women! Women bad! We got the same repeat that it happened in 2014. It's about the fourth final in existence of the World Cup between Argentina and Germany. They can't stop fucking meeting each other. But this time, they actually dragged to penalties because Gonzalo Higuain actually managed to find the goal. <laughs> And Messi got his World Cup medal four years before he actually did. Other sizable differences, we got knocked out by France. I mean, that's normal. The way we're playing, we probably get knocked out by Venezuela. Texas, I mean Chile, knocked out England and got to the semifinals. You know, remember the days Chile actually had good players instead of being a retirement home anymore? I need hobbies. I need a mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a slow, I'm a slow joke-getter. I'm, I'm a slow. I'm a slow. I'm a slow. You have Benzema, you have Prime Ronaldo, you have Gareth Bale. Why do you need this? Why? Also, also 81 million pounds for a man in a severe heart condition. Don't they realize yeah. that he's gonna retire in three years? Yeah, but they don't know that. That's like predicting the future. Exactly! Predict the future! The other top deals. What the fuck? Nah, nah, nah. I'm done. I'm done. No fucking universe is João Mario, João Mario worth three quarters of a hundred million pounds. Yeah, he's good. He's good for Benfica. 
Benfica. This is like when Barcelona in the same season of 1819 signed Kevin Prince Boateng, expecting him to be a fucking steal. Yeah, he's gonna steal because he's black. Oh no, John, <laughs> John. <laughs> Your def <laughs> Liverpool's defense is fucked, John. Literally, the one condition of Liverpool winning anything of like the Champions League in 2019, the league in 2020, was because this Don signed for Liverpool. Yeah, Man City are winning every trophy. Yeah, of course, Luke Shaw went to Nice. First, it was an addiction to pints. Now, it's an addiction of croissant. Eric Lamella scores about three goals a season, especially at that time for Tottenham. And then, yeah, Bayern just went and sit and saw, that's the guy. That's the guy for Bayern Munich. What the f what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Even when this boy signed for Galatasaray, it was a waste of time because his level's way higher than Crystal Palace. At 25, he says, I'm off to Spain. Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Oh, interested. I'm going to Las Palmas. Oh, boy. I, I spoke too soon. Maybe Las Palmas is the way of the future because they just signed Alan from Napoli. Is this the old ham? Finally, someone, a team being competent. Angel Di Maria signs for Chelsea. Not sure the transfer fee because it didn't show, but it must have been a fucking steal. Maybe Everton are building revolution because Angel Correa's potential is still amazing. They might finish in the top four. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not gonna finish in the top four. If they finish in the top four in any of the seasons we have, I'm pouring hot coffee all over my face. This man wasn't even good enough for Arsene Wenger. A man that thought that Yaya Sonogo was capable to play football on his own. Oh, by the way, you're not playing in football. I don't need to come back and see what happens to you. You're not playing any football. You're not going anywhere. Rafael Guerrero, 34 million to Chelsea. It, it, it seems as Chelsea is trying to sign anyone and everyone, but for actual reasonable price, because Roman Abramovich knows how to spend his money, usually. And then Chelsea do it again. Harvey Martinez, in about two years, he's going to retire. Bye, Allison. Why? I said I was gonna power coffee on my face if Everton finished for the first season! Alright, yeah, Chelsea won the league. Yeah, I was celebrating about that because Man City just fucked it. But, ah. Uh... Derby County actually got promoted and Derby County stayed up. Aston Villa, West Brom, and Leeds all down. Schalke! Long time since I've fucking seen you. You won the Bundesliga with Dortmund second and Bayern third. You decided to sign Eric Lamella. You did this to yourself. 92 points. Uh, Juventus win the league. No, oh, oh my god! Uh, not really. I just wanted uh, any team out of the fucking three that always win the La Liga. I thought if Madrid winning it with 30 wins is, is incredible. They dethrone Real Madrid. Villarreal just just mustered yourself up a bit. Sevilla too. You just neglected Barcelona from getting to the Champions League. Do a bit more. We just need a bit more. Atletico, have a job to do. You've been the punching bag for Real in all your time. It's now or never for you. Shout out to Sporting Lisbon for getting to the semi-finals. Leon won the Europa League against Atletico Bilbao and Everton reached the quarter-final. Your team got knocked out by Leon. Hey, look at mine. I thought it would just give you relegation battles. They might they they were a kick away from getting to the Europa League final and, and managing to win it. Fuck, you know. Yeah! Even a fucking clean sheet. Well done, Diego Simeone and Atletico Madrid. Finally did it. I thought it was just going to be AI youth academy players that would just end up having the same surnames and the same lookalikes. These two are the same person. <laughs> Baby, if only you was that good. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the time. FIFA 18 was really the time that people were overhyping Andrea Bellotti to the extent that a 73 million pound switch to Chelsea was actually understandable and respectable back then. Oh, this was also common. <laughs> Imagine if this happened today. Because Ross Barkley actually had an alright season with Luton. Imagine this headline showing this image today. Jelson Martins in the top three deals of the summer of 2019. For you people that didn't know, good winger at Sporting. Even so, he couldn't crack the Portugal team. The fact of now getting to Real Madrid to be Gareth Bale's heir to the throne. 48 million. Near, near enough 50 million. I like that for his career, but at the same time, does he deserve it? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. He's just a Portuguese Bob Marley. Scared of what Celta Vigo are going to do. They're, they're bringing something that I haven't seen of, of many teams in a while. You've seen the star players they sign. You've seen the levels they're going with this. Now they bring in Kingsley Coleman at just 23. Are Kingsley Coleman ruling German football with Bayern Munich at the time? They better do something fucking special. And I've been saying it constantly. I'm trying to... I'm trying every single day not to kill myself. Constantly looking at the same seasons of Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid winning the league. 
This that this is the only league that not a single big club has managed to fucking crack under pressure. It's been the same three forever. Even Juventus stopped winning Serie A. Even PSG stopped winning League One. Bayern haven't won the Bundesliga in so fucking long. Sutter, you better do some shit. You better cause some carnage. Oh boy. <laughs> Those of you that don't uh, know about Flamengo, a team in Brazil, uh, this man is a controversial figure everywhere he goes and every single thing he does. I'm gonna show two images, right? The reason why I love him, picture one, the reason why I sometimes despise the fuck out of him to the point of killing him on the picture too. But all in all, he's a Flamengo great. Why the fuck are you doing moving to Swansea? Why you? Why you of every single other striker moving to Swansea with the legacy you have for my team, for my fucking crest, for my club, and the, the everything you did for us? Why Swansea? Fucking Swansea! Moving to Swansea is like suicide with but with extra steps and a bit more money. Moving to Swansea is like cutting your penis off with a fucking knife. Moving to Swansea is pretty much drinking deodorant. Especially as a Brazilian. What the fuck you doing at Swansea? Not you two, Andre Scherler. What have what has Swansea been doing? Why? What why are you all just desperate to move heaven on earth? A town literally described by the word AIDS. Described by the word cancer. Why do you want to move there? Celtic and San Brahimi. Back in those days, he was a fucking dribbling machine for Porto. What? You better fucking win the league, Celta. You better fucking win the league, or I'm gonna slice the throat of your fucking fat chairman. Why did this happen? He's gonna do the fucking octopus celebration in the Bernabeu. Tanny Rose at PSG. <laughs> You know that by 29, he would just be bickering with Mourinho about leaving to Inter Milan only to sign for Newcastle, right? You paying this man £81,000 a week when he's gonna retire in about two years. He's a fucking liability. What the fuck you doing with Danny Rose? You're Paris Saint-Germain. Homeless life never stops for a man that doesn't really care about the team he's using. And just like the other Danish teams that I started this shit with, Randers, you're dead to me. Why the only club left is a fucking Irish team. Bohemians, nothing wrong with you. You revelated even Evan Ferguson. Listen. <sighs> Why? <laughs> My manager ratings are only 91. What the fuck? What are you so fucking desperate for a manager? Did they say like, oh, you accepted the job, now we're gonna back you with everything. The 94. Bitch, I haven't done shit. I've just been on the calendar simulating. Why are you giving me higher ratings? Are you so desperate for a fucking manager? I haven't done shit to you. Stop trying to be nice to me. I don't deserve it. Oh my fucking god. By this time, we all got accustomed to Morata being permanently offside. What the fuck is this? You know, you know, this is the third time they signed Real Madrid, right? No, this is the third time they signed Morata. But 83 million. Chelsea would have been actually making a profit. By selling him, you know Chelsea bought him for like 72 million. Luciano Vieto, I, have, I haven't heard of this name since this game. Since FIFA 18, since I, I, I last played FIFA 18. When I was a child, wanking to my wall. Mac I've been saying about Man United is 100% fucking coming back to bite me the, the ass all the time. They just win the league with only two losses and 88 points. Spurs and Chelsea all equalized on 84 points, Arsenal in fourth, and Liverpool and Man City outside the top four. If you show this table, thinking that it's 2020, you, you would have been labeled fucking crazy and psychotic. Burnley, Bournemouth, Norwich, all down. It still looks realistic. After all this time, it still does. Well, this doesn't, because Sunderland had just come up from the championship as winners, as champions. I don't buy that for a second. 96 points, that can't be. This, is, isn't this the same season that Sunderland failed to come out of League One? <laughs> I fucking did it, they won the Bundesliga. Well, well done. And Juventus cleared their name with a 60 goal difference and winning Serie A. Milan second, Napoli third, Inter Milan fourth. Celta constantly make the talk and winds up in seventh. You can't beat signing Kingsley Coleman and then show up with a result like this. Barcelona win the league, Real Madrid second, Atletico Madrid third. It's the constant same three. I'm going to put a gun in my fucking brain. Yeah, this is fake. Whatever brings the situation here, this is fake. I'm looking at an image right now that doesn't perceive reality as it should be. Manchester United win the Champions League against Bayern Munich 2-1. Is this fucking 1999? Do I have to dress like I'm a fucking pedophile or something? I don't want to be looking at this reality. Imagine, imagine living in Manchester that this became reality again. They just won the Premier League and the Champions League. They could have done a fucking treble, I, I wouldn't know. Who the fuck is their star man? Like, listen, <laughs> I don't get it. And it's all English nomination. Chelsea beat Wolfsburg 3-0.
on the easiest Europa League final of all time to conquer the Europa League. Bear in mind, this is the same Chelsea team that sexually assaulted Liverpool in the round of 16, beat Arsenal in the quarterfinals like it was a fucking training drill for malaria. Oh, I finally remembered why Celta are not climbing above seventh. They have John fucking Gidetti up front. So, one of the games in this era that Eric Bailey was still treated as the, the next king to the throne of the best centre-backs in the world and a generational talent. And then he went on and spent all his life in a hospital bed. Yeah, without the shining embarrassment in the World Cup of 2018, David Gea still stands tall as the best goalkeeper on the planet by far. 92 rating, Jesus. And Lukaku's 89. <laughs> I'm actually happy for him, because he's, he's just not a meme anymore. In this reality, he can at least check his phone in peace, and people are not calling him Lukaku every five seconds. And Anthony Martial living to the hype instead of just showing up about five times a year. Holy shit. 92 rated, as, as well as De Gea. The shit thing about career mode is that even the most promising players, they're gonna arrive at the huge potential they need. It's just a guarantee. Hence why Pogba is one of the best players in the world, is the world-class number 8 that Man United actually needed. Anyone in the Celta Vigo boardroom, hands up, j just own up, who the fuck signed this homeless man? Looks like he snuck up on the plane flight to Spain from Detroit. Oh my god, it's Lukaku. No, it isn't, you fucking idiot. I would say, I was about to say, then I wouldn't be socially accepted. I mean, I would be even less socially acceptable. But for you to be less socially acceptable, you need to be social. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arsenal, instead of just holding on for that can rise in this reality, he is no more. And he's Irish. So Real Madrid partways to Casemiro, he's going to Arsenal. No idea why, because this, this is not the Arsenal of challenging for titles. This is the Arsenal of Arsene Wenger still there, Arsenal. While the Van Dijk experiment failed, uh, Chelsea and Man United rampling on to titles and Man City are still waiting for theirs. So Van Dijk moves off to PSG. Getting more moved than a oh. snow bunny in a fraternity. But for you to be a snow bunny, you need to go to black guys. I haven't seen one black dude in a fraternity. It's all just like big white men. Yeah, so they just replace Van Dijk with Nick Kasula. That's actually not bad context that we have in this game. Kasula is actually ama amazing potential and he's still young. Uh, yeah, I forgot because of the rules that the algorithm usually have with players that are away from Europe. You ain't leaving rushing. I'm still an exciting prospect. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, the 90 makes sense because he's been 90 fucking months without ever seeing a Premier League pitch. The game released in the season that Dele Alli had pretty much the best form of his life. He had like double digits for goals and assists in the league alone and then scored against Real Madrid in the Champions League twice. I understand the 90 rating but with everything that happened since it looks more laughable by the minute. The fact that we reached lockdown period and Meza Urza was still at Arsenal still earning 170 grand a week and 87 rated is it is a joke. It's a good, it's a good punchline. It's a very good punchline. What the fuck? What? No, no, no. I can count on my finger, on, on one hand, the amount of games that Corentin Tolisso played for Bayern Munich, and on one finger, the amount of good games he performed in a Bayern shirt. How the fuck is he one of the best midfielders in the world? So many transfers have happened. None of them that have an iota of... Wait, does Son go back to Tottenham? Gerard De La Feo, 87. 250,000 pounds a week. For what? Two league goals every year? The only one that actually makes sense. This one actually makes sense. It's the Rodri one. If Rodri wasn't ever discovered. His name asked trajectory. He's 28 now. 94, 109 million pounds. And he's almost earning the same amount of money as Gerard De La Feo. Yo. <laughs> this stadium is so empty. It has to be called Empty Stadium. <laughs> just because I said I, 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 he wasn't going to do shit, he's not going to play. It just became the biggest deal of 2021 in January. He, he goes to United for 13 million quid. Lucas Costerman, when was he at Watford? Why is he going to Everton? When did, when did, when did all this happen? And City do it again. The drought continues. Chelsea United level one points for the league title, except Chelsea made a better goal difference, and they maintain up there. Somehow Gerard Piquet is still alive to see lifting Premier League titles or some shit. Liverpool actually get fourth. I'm proud of your club, even though you're not 
as good as you were promised to be. Tottenham and Arsenal still show to the world that North London is actually pretty shit. Sunderland, Wolves and Derby County all down. This seems like the most correct relegation zone of all time. Because none of these teams deserve to be here. The same fucking outcome every single time. What about Spain? Will it be pain? <laughs> get, get out of my life. Get, get out of my fucking life. So because the other four leagues that we've covered, they're so fucking predictable and so fucking mundane and boring. We're going to cover a league of actual good morals and good respect of a country that with amazing culture and amazing ideals. The Russian League. Zenit finished top dogs with 767 points. Krasnodar second. Spartak Moscow third. And a big surprise in FC Ufa. The former club of Alexander Zinchenko finishing fifth on 54 points. Actually not bad. Ahead of Lokomotiv Moscow and Rubin Kazan. And unfortunately, Arsenal Tula and SKA Krabov Ka Ka Kabarovsk. They go down. If if this would be actually real and they could actually go down, but they can't. But oh, but you might say now, oh, wait, where's the Portuguese league? Where's the Dutch league? I'm sorry, I just showed like six leagues in a row. I'm so tired right now. I can't really cover anything else. Bayern are Champions League winners. Juventus finishing runner-up. I think this is about the sixth time they finished second in the Champions League ever since they won the thing in 1996. You man are the fucking specialists in failure. You Udinese! <laughs> Finally a surprise! They beat Braga, Bordeaux, Ajax, and Borussia Dortmund in Europa League final. Fair fucking play to you. And the best part, no English teams in a round of 16. Just Rangers being there looking like a cuck. That joke. B what joke? My life. <laughs> Left the call. I don't remember what I said. I have no, Alzheimer's. No, no, no. Sure, sure you can remember. Alzheimer's is just a state of mind. It's not real. Just like if you're homeless, you should just buy a house. No, being homeless is actually being homeless and having no money. So, so you're not even categorized as a human being anymore. You, you kind of like don't exist. All these racks, give me a boner. I'm too hard. Who here remembers the Confederations Cup? Usually the tournament connecting all the continental champions and world champions and uh, the host nation. You yeah, man, my country shit. Holy shit. Uh, uh, ho holy shit, um, so like, did he have another heart attack? Meanwhile, Bernardo Silva gets offloaded to Barcelona. I still cannot get you on how, how you haven't got a Champions League yet. This is one thing that I'm very fucking keen on knowing. Isco, FIFA 18 Isco, had an amazing potential, an amazing rating as well. That was still time Isco was borderline, if not world class, and you cannot meet cannot debate with me on this shit. And now my United, I just expect him to explode, to be honest. Sorry, I meant world-class footballers, not world-class cotton pickers. Try me. Try, try and lie to me that Danny Rose, in the same year that he would file for retirement, he was going to get an 82 rating in FIFA with Bayer Leverkusen. Try, try. Just fucking try and tell me. I, I can't believe. A talented Daniel Hugani just left Juventus to Bayern Munich and now settling to the prime of his career at 87 rated at 27. I, c I can accept that because he was the book of Juventus. He was still used to the world-class ta talent. He can learn from Kylian and Bonucci. That I found believable. Nathan Redmond to Schalke when Schalke were good, I found as believable as trying imagine a fucking clown riding an elephant. More context to pass to you, January 2022. <coughs> Amert Laporte is actually 90 rated, hence why he's going to PSG. The one thing I'm still not sure is uh, 53 million. You know, he's one of the best defenders in the world. When the game launched, this was the year that Neymar pretty much blew the roof of every single transfer deal that it would happen in the future of football so it takes a lot that the best of one of the best defenders in the world in one of the biggest clubs in the world is just signing for 50 million although i haven't really checked rabio's rating so for 47 million he's supposed to be a fucking star then heading to barcelona this might be the first deal that barcelona did that i'm particularly ashamed of rafael borre to southampton that, that's actually a nice deal to be fair it's not common to see a south american side slapped around the top deals of a fifa game especially an old fifa game and seeing that i mean, I mean he nearly caused the worst moment of my life in the libertadores final of 2019 part thankfully uh, gabigol was there to save the day and he ever since became my hero we're reaching the limits people the world class tab in the scouting options are listing players from fucking kosovo apparently the developed a rash from they were born and his face when trying to make 
like uh, scrambled eggs or some shit. Clear that fucking rash off your multi-millionaire for Man City, Christ above. On the same way, Shibazaki, you're playing in the top fight of Spanish football. You can stop getting your haircuts from your mom. One day you had aspirations to play for England at Birmingham City. You were never gonna play for England. Thank the fucking lucky stars you had a Scottish granddad. Wavy lines, Casper Dolberg. Everyone knew he was gonna turn out like shit. The hype in him was pretty much just for FIFA, FIFA potential only. To the younger viewers, well, y viewers are like age 11, age 10, that never actually played or seen FIFA 18. This kid, according to FIFA, had the hype of Rasmus Hoyland, hence why he's 88 rated playing for a club like Barcelona. I'm curious on how long we actually simulated and the strength of this game based on funniness. Nope. Uh, not a single man named by the N-word. Although one right back came realistically close. And depending on the country, that's the N-word right there. Of course, he's a white man from Australia. <laughs> in Australia, Sydney FC actually managed to go through winning the league. I don't know what the fuck am I covering kangaroo land because I'm scared of every single league being the same. All oh, right, finally have some variety to talk about. 82 points, you know that's a shit points total by the way. <laughs> but what matters is matters, it matters now, because they win the league. City second, United third, Liverpool fourth. I don't get it. Spurs have Harry Kane, Spurs have Deli Alli with 90 plus rating, and all they can show for it is Europa League shame. The more Swansea keep on surviving, the more probable I am contracting diarrhea. S sorry, not diarrhea, gonorrhea. Speaking of Leicester, uh, the amount of draws they have obviously is not enough for you to survive. Alongside Brighton with Nkunku and Fulham without any prayer and any activity going on. Fuck you. With, with all my heart and soul, fuck you. One point. <laughs> One point that makes so much difference. Dortmund win it again for the first time since the first season. And again, I'll mention it again, it's still nice to see Schalke in there considering... <laughs> Lads. It's not even close. I'm running out of patience of covering Spain. It's the only league in five seasons of this specific type of video idea that every single year, it's the same three. It's like knowing a bank has been robbed in the middle of fucking New York City Center and the same three people are the same suspects. You know their faces and you've seen them on CCTV taking the money away from the vault and pointing guns out of a crying old lady in the fucking corner and yet they haven't gone to jail yet. Who the fuck are you? Well, we finally found P Peter Cech's region. Unfortunately, he's not in London. Uh, Wolverhampton. Like, hypothetically, in going to like, describe you like the World Cup of like, 2022. Russia like made it to the like, round of 16. I like Miss Russia so much that like I start like crying so much. Mexico like do a Mexico and get knocked out in the like last 16 as well. And like... Lucas is trying to pretend Brazil is not like shit and cringe, meanwhile like his like country gets suffocated during a like successful anal sex for Colombia on like penalties. In the end, like, the final was Tiki Toka Spain against like the golden generation of Belgium in like, their last legs, and Tio Go, pulling the like strings in midfield, David De Gea, like saving every shot and like Moretta, being Moretta, and not knowing like how offside works, they win like their second ever World Cup. I am like, so glad to have this for like a living, because I have a speech impediment and like suffered bullying at like my school until I got like, kicked out for being like, an incel. Also, my dad ate my mom. PSG signing any human with a fucking heartbeat. Cat kickers back at it, innit? Why does everybody think we Because we did. Now come here. Fuck are you. I know you played for Benfica and now you're athletic at Bilbao and soon to be Leverkusen, again for 50 million. Show me any semblance that you still exist. Uh, I want to look it up on, on Google and Transfer Market, so FIFA, and still try and realize that you're an existing human being that is not confined to the options of a cemetery. You're still alive, you're still breathing, well survey. You man, Rob Holding being this list of world-class talent is an insult to every single player in this list. And I do mean, every single person you're seeing here, it is an insult to them to be sharing the same plate as Rob fucking Holding. Clearly signing for Southampton on season one hasn't brought you any happiness, does, did it, Lucas Vasquez? Because Hoffenheim at the age of 31, I can tell you but what, what you did in real life is not where you want to be. Oh nice, he grew a rating. 
How romantic. Because they just won the league back-to-back -back with 84 points. Again, not a high points total if you want to be English League champions. What the fuck are they serving there? Who the, who the fuck is there? Because this FIFA just provided a future of Arsenal being shite for the next couple of years. Chelsea fall up in second, much improved. Manchester United third and Liverpool fourth again. And Man City finally getting out fucking maneuvered and into the Europa League they go with Everton. I'd say Spurs, but even Europa League might be too much of a fucking ass for the for these lot. Burnley, West, West Brom, Norwich all go down. And Brentford survive. It's mad to think that organically Brentford managed to be here. I hate you. Uh, <laughs> Arsenal saved the season because everything else that's gonna happen is gonna put me in a deep end. I'm gonna stab myself to death. <laughs> Ah. The legend of Zeke Barkle actually has a f happy ending in this game. You get any other FIFA game, and this man's going to be forgotten for the rest of eternity. Oh, yeah, they did sign Casemiro a couple seasons back. That, that's kind of a nice touch. Although, forget about winning any Champions Leagues anytime soon. The, the, these, these are fucking allergic. I'm going to ignore what you just showed me. That number isn't real. You can't, you can't fake me like this with math again. Because the day Callum Chambers is recognized as a top class defender is the day I shoot a pawn with my sister. It finally fucking happened. In the second to last Champions League, they lifted it up against Manchester United. 1-0 in the final, having gone past Roma with ease, Juventus with ease, and even Man City with ease to reach the promised land. They finally fucking done it. Europa League, AC Milan defeating Newcastle. What the fuck are Newcastle doing there? Let me think about this for a moment. The biggest transfer in the summer of 2023 is a Paraguayan. There's about fucking 100 players that this game overhyped to the ninth degree. Didn't Chelsea already have Andre Bilotti? You don't need Angel Correa. And since when was Angel Correa at Juventus? Wasn't he at Everton? <laughs> Might just be my fever, or did Real Madrid pay 56 million for a player in Russia? You shouldn't be paying big money for something coming out of Russia if it isn't manual labor. But I wish I could gloss more on different transfers like I did on previous seasons. I've got a 42 degree cold. My nose is full all the time. And if I sneeze in the direction of a child, that child's gonna die. Like, I'm not suicidal. But let's just wrap this shit up. Oh, somebody learned the line of offside, didn't they? Oh, didn't you, Murata? Didn't you? Didn't you? From Mulder on loan to Lorient in France without the man bun, without the samurai haircut. Bro fell off. L. Meanwhile, Dominico Birardi is arguably the world's greatest player, apparently. Real, the, the words Real Madrid should not be eyeing anything that lives or breathes in Sassuolo. At least Brahim Diaz turned out good, so... Potato, tomato. According to FIFA 18 knowledge, the, what was supposed to happen was for United with Eric Ten Hag to win the league. I mean, not Eric Ten Hag. It is probably still Mourinho in this reality. Stop. I'm actually, <coughs> I'm so fucking sick. That actually begs the question, would have Mourinho stayed and Pogba staying as well, would have actually yielded league titles and a Champions League? I guess we'll never know. City second, Liverpool third, and again, I, I say this. With full confidence, Mike Ashley's Newcastle doesn't finish fourth. And Arsenal, though, are coming from league titles. They they take the role of Spurs now to embarrass themselves. Wolves again. Brentford finally. And I Ipswich, they, they actually predicted Ipswich to be here. But I, I, I'm going to sneeze. Fuck. 30, 30 points. You all give me the reason to put every single one of your names in my suicide note tomorrow. Alice is not Real Madrid. I need to finish this. I need to lie down. It's repeated 2008. Chelsea come victorious though. A 2-1 win over United. Morata finally leaves and a dream is achieved. <laughs> Alon de War talks so Lucas can sleep dreaming of harvesting the organs of Vietnamese woman. 2017 was Ronaldo. 2018 was Neymar. 2019 was Neymar. 2020 was Deli Alley. 2021 was Lamar. 2022 was De Gea, 2023 was Timo Horn and 2024 was the year of Mbappe. CK, that pussy ass bitch never holding my golden ball, 2024 was also Deli Alley. If only he was as talented to rigging these awards as Jimmy Seville is of hooking up with children. I am really jealous of him. Thanks Everton. I need to go to sleep.